Yo, YouTube, what's going down, man? It's your boy Potsy, and today I'm bringing you some WWE 2K15 gameplay. But that's not important. This is just the backdrop. This is Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn, and uh, I just want to talk about uh, NXT Takeover uh, rivalry. Wow, that's all I can say. It was it was good. It was the best two hours I spent. I got home from work and I was like, oh, bruh, please, please be good. That's all. I, I was tired. I wanted to, you know, just be like, let me end the night perfectly. And they did. It was good. I'm just going to tell you straight up, it was, it was phenomenal. Um, I'm going to try to give you a short, sweet version of the uh, the review. I don't like talking about the matches sometimes because I like to keep it myself. And hopefully if you didn't watch it, you know, or you don't really want to watch it, you want me to just, you know, say it, I'll say it. But, I mean, this is why you watch the video, the review and all that stuff. That's why you clicked on the video. But, thank you, too, if you really want to know. Um, so, let's get right into the uh, the opening match. Okay, so the first match, the opening match, was Hideo Itami uh, facing off Tyler Breeze, which was a excellent opening match, a very solid match to kick off the special, especially NXT rivalry. Crowd was hot in general, and uh, it was really, <laughs> really good. Uh, you know, he both those... Uh, but those athletes were really good. It was, I mean, especially for, I mean, Hideo Tommy, who's, you know, also known as Kenta. I mean, he established his name in wrestling anyway. But uh, to come to NXT, because apparently it, it, is, it is a different style of wrestling when you go from Japan, you know, Japan wrestling style, style of wrestling to, you know, WWE. It, it, it is different. They're very different. You don't see it on TV. But it is, you know, to the wrestlers. So it was really good. I, I really liked it. Let's for Tyler Breeze. That man. Oh my God. That dude is. He's good. He's good. But uh, he didn't get the uh, the pinfall. Hideo did with the uh, running kick to the face. But there was a G uh, GTS. But it was just a tease. He got reversed. And the crowd just. He. The crowd lit it up. Think it's gonna be GTS. I think he'll never hit it because of the whole CM Punk thing. But. To go to sleep was invented by the man Hideo Tommy. So I mean, it was kind of like he's got to hit it, but right now it's just a tease to get the crowd over and be like, oh, oh, he's got, he's got to do it, he's got, he's got, he's got to do it, just, just, just. That's what I think of the wrestling, <laughs> the internet wrestling community. <laughs> this sucks. All right, I'll, I'll stop. <laughs> so let's get on to the other match. So we have uh, Baron Corbin taking on Bull Dempsey in a no DQ match. Um, the whole match was kind of, like, sloppy, but, uh, Bull was kind of dominating a lot, uh, a lot of the match through pretty much the majority of the match, but, uh, it was, it was kind of slow, it was just, ugh, like, it was just, it was quick, I felt like they kind of just, like, rushed it a little bit, and it's just some of the spots, <laughs> I can't respond, I just heard my, I can't respond, alright, I'll stop, <laughs> but it's just some of the spots that they were doing, it's just were really, like, Ugh. Ugh. But I mean, thank God it was short and sweet. So uh, with that being said, Bull tried to hit Baron with the chair. It got you know deflected, and then Baron hit him with the end of days for the finish of the one, two, three. But short and sweet. So hopefully you know it was good. The crowd were kind of like, eh. We we're glad it was over quickly, which I did too, because it was going to be a, a downfall if they uh, kept wrestling. So. Baron hits him with the end of days and puts him a one, two, three. So let's get on to the tag team match, huh? What do you say, gang? Ah, come on. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry about that. But uh, we <laughs> we have the NXT tag team chattel, uh, titles. That's that's a that's a word. NXT uh, tag team champions uh, championships on the line. We have Wesley Blake and Bloody Murphy facing the Lucha Dragons. Um, it was a it was a pretty good match. They were. You know, messing up a lot. They were hitting a lot of botches. It, it looked pretty bad. The beginning, like the first couple minutes, they just couldn't look. They didn't, really didn't look like they were getting their stuff together. And uh, once they kind of like kind of slowed the match down, it was actually pretty good. It was a lot of it was a lot of fast you know, fast pace and high flying spots. Um, it was pretty much you would see in uh, I think they wrestled before, and it was pretty much the same thing, just a little bit more high flying stuff. And uh, the spot at the end was Blake uh, went on the top rope, hit him with a f uh, frog splash to Sin Cara. One, two, three, uh, Blake and Murphy retained the titles. But it was a, a phenomenal match. I'm not going to 
Just it, it was slow because they were doing a lot of stuff. They were messing up a lot, but it was it was pretty good though. I really liked it. So uh, let's get on to which I believe the match of the night. <sighs> All right, so we are going to talk about Finn Balor facing off Adrian Neville for the number one contender for the NXT Championship. Uh, once again, Balor did a phenomenal job uh, with his entrance. I mean, the match didn't even start yet, and the crowd was going nuts. Finn brought back the war paint like he did in the last takeover. Pretty much the same things, a little, a little added stuff, and it looked really cool. I really liked it. And for oh, it just when I was watching it, and even even the com- there was no commentary like at all. They kept quiet, and I, I remember just going I like when the music stops. Like I was quiet. Like usually I'd be like you know not really pay attention. I was quiet, and it was so. It just it makes you stop thinking. Be like, damn, this is sick. You know, it was it was really cool. And uh, it, the match in general, damn, was phenomenal. It was good. Oh my god, it was phenomenal. It was great, fantastic. I cried. <laughs> oh, sorry, but uh, once again, it was like Neville was dominating a lot, and then you know uh, Finn was bringing back some momentum and was working a little bit, and then uh, it was just near fall after near fall and after near fall after near fall. Did I mention near fall? Okay, yeah, I did. Uh, near fall. It was so much. T- some of the spots looked like they- it was gonna be over. That's how sick that match was. It just was like there's no way you can kick out of that. It was that type of match. But uh, Finn finally found a way. Hit it with a giant double foot stomp on the top rope to hit him with the one, two, three. And the crowd once again was like the NXT crowd is always good. And especially after that tag team match, they were kind of dead, which was a, a pretty not, not a good sign because that crowd's always fired up. And this time they they were they they brought back they gained pretty much that match pretty much gained back the the fan you know the fans uh, perspective in the rest rest of the match, and uh, they did and it was good. And then both of them both of them shook hands as a show of respect. And the and uh, the crowd said, "Thank you, Neville. Thank you, Neville." It sounded like, like that was the end for him, which I don't think in general it won't be. I think he's going to be staying there for a little bit longer. And then once he gets called up, he'll get called up. But I mean, they can do so much stuff for him, right with them, especially with Finn, Hideo, Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens. They can do so much stuff with that. Um, but we'll, let's just get on to the uh, the women's tag team. Uh, so damn, women's tag team. They make those. Yeah, right. Especially not WWE. Let's get on to a women's uh, championship match. All right, so we have the fatal four-way of the women's championship match. The champion, Charlotte, Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, and Bailey, the fan, you know, the fan fra- favorite, the fan favorite. Um, one take only. Uh, the match, once again, it proved that wrestling, women's wrestling, is going to be revamped with these four women. The, these 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 girls kicked ass. All four had a shining moment in the match, and it looked like all four had a spot of winning the match. Um, it was phenomenal. I mean, I can't complain. Just looking at this match, it made me realize how shitty. Excuse me. I apologize. The Divas Division on the main roster is. There's there's a couple girls in the in the NX, in the. Uh, in the Divas locker room, who can wrestle? It's just some of them just look afraid. They don't want to mess up. These these girls don't care. They will German suplex you and break your neck and still try to get the pinfall. They don't care. That's how sick this the this, this fatal four way match. It was phenomenal. It didn't. It just didn't look like women's wrestling ever was going to be existence. It just looked phenomenal. It looked like a regular wrestling. Match. It looked like two four men wrestling. It looked, go- it looked good. I suggest you guys watch it, see it for yourself. You're like, I see these women. They don't, they don't know how to wrestle, bro. Uh, these, these four do. And uh, with that, I mean, yeah. Once uh, all the four girls had a shining moment, and the finish um, was just phenomenal. Sasha had Charlotte in the hold, like a cross face, and. Uh, the way that was set up, that Bailey was kicking ass the whole pretty much end of the match, 
and it looked like her time her time was come. Uh, she hit Charlotte with her finish, and then as soon as that she's gonna go for the pinfall, uh, Sasha Banks came out and pretty much took control, got Charlotte in the cross face, and it looked like she wasn't gonna tap out, and then until she wrenched on it like a hell lot more, like like her Sasha's or uh, Charlotte's neck was touching her ass. That, that's how, like, it was, like, they didn't look right. It looked like she was going to break her body in half. But, um, Charlotte tried to, uh, regain some strength, and she got messed up where it got to a quick switch to a roll-up for the 1-2-3, and Sasha Banks is the new NXT Women's Champions. You can bank on that. That was whack, wasn't it? I don't give up. All right. Either way, that match was awesome. It was fun. It just didn't look like it was a Divas or a women's match. It was just so good. I suggest you guys watch it. Very, very, I highly recommend you watching it. It was good. But uh, we are going to get on to the main event of the evening. Oh, yeah. Dig it, brother. <sighs> All right. Here we go. We have Kevin Owens, a challenger, taking on the champion, Sami Zayn. Um... This was... It was awesome. Uh, this match was very much like the... the uh, uh, Pretty much the announcers were comparing it. It was pretty much like uh, Brock Lesnar and John Cena at SummerSlam where Brock was destroying Lesnar. Or <laughs> Brock was, Brock was just, uh, destroying Cena. That's what Owens was doing to Sami Zayn. And for, it was for a while, actually, I mean, it was just... Kevin was destroying him, and then Sammy's trying to find momentum, trying to build him back up, and it wasn't working. He was getting shot down, and uh, it was cool. At the beginning of the match, Kevin Owens was trying to pretty much get the crowd over a little bit. They were like anticipating, like these two guys were going to go at it, like fist for fist. Kevin Owens went out of the ring, you know, kind of like getting into Sami Zayn's head, and then once he kept doing it a couple times, the ref told, you know, you know, Kevin, you got to get back in the ring. In the middle of the spot, Kevin doesn't see Sami Zayn. And all you see is Sami Zayn just flying, jumping over the referee and hitting Kevin Owens, which I thought that was phenomenal. It was sick. Uh, a lot of stuff happened. It was a lot of a lot of airy moves that Sami Zayn was trying to bring. And it just, it got, it got, he got called up uh, one time. He tried to do the suicide dive over again, the flip. And uh, what the story was that he suffered concussion. And right off that, it was a oh excuse me, my bad. It was a springboard. He does, he did the you know the springboard. He does the backflip, and once he landed, he his body flew back and his head hit the ramp, causing what the what the, the what the news is that he suffered concussion. Which I mean, he didn't really didn't suffer concussion, but anyway, he suffered concussion, and he was he was out of it, and to the point where Kevin knew that he was knocked loopy, and for about. Five minutes, maybe five to ten minutes. Kevin Owens was beating the, hu- the pretty much beating the hell out of him, not just throwing haymakers at him. About I think I counted five, five or six power bombs. Sami Zayn was just getting up, uh, but to the six one, the uh, the doctors told the referee to stop the match, and the ref didn't want to do it because you know, it, it, I mean he. It's the match, a title match. You don't want to do that. And the final power bomb hit. The ref just said, "You know, that's it. It's over. Ring the bell." Now, with that being said, I thought that was a DQ, knowing that uh, Sammy can't compete to this. You know, but it really it wasn't. It wasn't a disqualification. It's a technical. It's a TKO. KO, not Kevin Owen. KO. That's what pretty much they were setting the the the. the Punchline, pretty much. He knocked him out senseless with about six power bombs, and I thought the referee was going to give him the belt. He was always going to walk over to Sami Zayn, so, you know, no contest. He didn't pin all that stuff. No, he gave the belt to Kevin Owens, and you have a brand new NXT champion. The whole crowd was in shock. The whole crowd, as you see in the video, Sami Sami Zayn won. That wasn't a case. The crowd just didn't know what to do. Half of the side was cheering Kevin, other side was cheering Sammy. At the end, it was just silence. 
They just can't believe they just witnessed a beating by Sami Zayn, by Kevin Owens to Sami Zayn. Two months, two months that Kevin Owens has been in the NXT, and he's NXT champion. That's awesome. I've been a Kevin Owens fan, you know, Kevin Steen, for quite some time. Pretty much when, you know, the end of high school, when I started to, you know, get to know him. I mean, don't don't judge him. I, don't, I hate that people stuff. That's when I really got to notice him. And he, I mean, I've been liking him ever since. And having this was just awesome. I really like NXT. I hope you guys, you know, just watch that. Please do. Like, comment, subscribe, what you think of the pay-per-view. Well, pretty much the special. And let's talk about it. I want to talk about it. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe, guys. And I'm out, guys. Peace.